Okay guys, so I have my package from Unice. I'm not sure how this works because I ordered from Nadula.com and got a package with Unice. I'm not sure if they're the same company or separate companies, but either way, here's the box. <laughs> um, and then let's open it up and see what came inside. So usually when you order hair from them, um, they give you like extra things like headbands or a scarf, wig caps, things like that. So I have in here, and I'm sorry, I don't know if you guys can hear things going on outside. It sounds like somebody's getting arrested and I'm not sure, but excuse that if you can hear anything. Um, so I got some lashes. These are like super, super dramatic lashes. So if you're doing a good girls night out and you need to put some cute dramatics on, I got some of these hair clips. They're pink on the front, metal on the back. I also got a scarf. Ooh, this one looks really pretty, which would be nice because I need a new scarf. And my girls are getting their hair done today, so it's good to have extra scarves in the house. This is the pattern. Very, very pretty. And it feels really good, too. And also got a look at this obviously isn't my like my color but honestly I'm not sure if I have any extra wood caps so this one is just gonna have to do and then let me see if this receipt tells me exactly what I got no, I'll just look at it on my phone. But this is the wig. It's a straight wig. And I'll read to you exactly what I got. Sorry. So I got the Nadula 4x4 four by four, four by four lace closure mid part human hair wig. Strength strength I can't read straight high quality affordable price 150% density weight so it was $122.80 and I also had a coupon code so that brought it down to $101.99 um, so I'm no wig expert so Sometimes I attempt the bald cap method, but if I can avoid it, I will just because I like to take my wigs off at the end of the night. I'm not one of the girls who likes to sleep in wigs. Um, I mean, even though it's convenient, it's not something that I prefer. I'll do it if that's just how I set up my wig um, for the week or whatever. But I do kind of want to start practicing, you know, sleeping in like wigs and stuff just because it's about to start being um you know wig season protective style season and i start school soon and the whole nine so i kind of just want to be able to get up and go but i'm gonna see what the wig looks like if i just like pop it on with the cap without doing like a ball cap method okay, so there's only one cap in this one so i gotta make do it do. <laughs> Ooh, she real light skin. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, I'm probably going to be looking to the side of me just because I have a mirror over here. So, even though I want to be focused on you guys and looking at you guys, I'm, I think my camera's in a good enough view or angle that you'll be able to see what I'm doing. This is just the regular method. I'm just putting on the cap and then plopping on the wig. So we'll see how that looks. Alright, so 
So this is what she looks like. Let me take the paper out of here. I didn't get her long or anything like that. So, well, not too long at least. Doesn't smell funny, just smells like a wig. <laughs> it just has that new wig smell. She's cute. The lace up here is pretty sheer and it just comes with this little square here. And that's where I'll be going down. So honestly, I don't think I need to do like a ball cap method. This, this should work. Um, so let me adjust this right here. I'll put this clip back down, I should say. There are four, uh, no, three. There are three combs, two right here in like the top corners, and then one in the back, just in case you're interested in kind of knowing and seeing what the combs are like on the inside. feels really good and I like the way that it fits my face now you're gonna see ugh, sorry, <laughs> that it's really light in between the part between like the cap and stuff like that so I'm just gonna put some makeup there in order to darken it up um, but since I don't have to like glue down the sides or anything um, honestly, if I really didn't want to, I didn't have to glue down the front, but today's like a cooler day and I just kind of want this to stay on. Like I said, I'm going to get in the habit of, um, trying to keep these on maybe for like a day or two at a time. Um, let's see, do I want to put the clip in the back? Ooh, okay. The clip in the back works. Ooh. So, I am going to, um, I just washed my face, so I don't know if you can tell that my face is shiny, but also, um, I feel like with the angle of my camera and stuff, it's making my face look a little, almost like washed out, um, but that's okay. So I'm just going to pull this back some, just like that. I just washed my face, so I'm going to have to wash, well, use a alcohol pad, sorry. I just used alcohol pads um, just to wipe around, just right here actually, because that's where I'm going to set the glue, because that's the only place where there's a lace for me to put glue. So I'm just going to wipe that area off and let it dry down. And then I'm going to apply this, ooh, sorry, the bold hold glue. I used to use the, um, the got to be, and for some reason, like, it was giving me really bad headaches. Um, I don't use like I don't put on wigs very often to really have a complaint about the bolt hold but when I do put it on it stays on I don't get a headache and um, it stays on for a while this is really extreme hold <laughs> so if you want a solid hold I would go with the bolt hold um, it is hard to get off <laughs> um, so these are made for people who want to um, wear wigs for longer periods of time. On my journey to getting my scissors, which I forgot to grab because I'm going to need to cut this lace off, I found a nice brown cap. So I'm going to actually switch, I'm gonna switch her out. Uh, I, I don't have anything else. 
on my truck. Sorry. I don't. There's another driver out here. So that is better. Whew. All right, let's swing this baby back around. Just put the clip back on. Okay, so now that we've switched that out, the part is looking a little darker, which is great. Um, so I'm going to pull this back now again. The area is cleaned off, so here is where I'm going to apply the bold hold glue, um, avoiding my little baby hairs that are there, because we saving all the edges. So I'm just going to apply some, sorry I'm trying to, <laughs> what is the best way to do this? Alright, I'm going to apply some glue right here. Just do a thin layer, you don't want to do too much. So this is the amount that I put. Hopefully it's not too much. So like I said, I kind of want to take it off at the end of the night, but I also kind of want to keep it. I'm not sure. But I'm just going to glue that. Um, you want to let it set for a second. so don't like pop your wig Ooh. don't pop your wig on it on it right away just let it set and dry down I believe it should turn clear it's not going to stay white of course so it should dry down like clear and that's when you'd want to pull the um the wig forward and make sure that it's adjusted and stays in the place that you want it to stay um, you could use a blow dryer to expedite the process if you wanted to but I'm not in the mood to pull out a blow dryer nor am I in the mood to deal with any more heat like I said today's been a cool day but we just got over a heat wave so I'm pretty gonna pretty much gonna sit here and fan my head and read some texts and things like that while this is happening so I'll be back in a minute. So it's been a few minutes since I applied the glue. As you can see, most of it's dried down. I did put like a thick clump right here. Um, so that's still kind of white. But I can still lay my weight down if I wanted to. Or if I wanted to, I could also apply another layer of, blow <laughs> of the bold hold glue um, in that area. Just to, um, the more secure you want it, the more glue you want to add. Um, I want it secure, but not that secure, um, because I used the clip in the back, so that's all good. I'm not worried about that. Um, I'm not sure if I want to attempt to lay it down in the back. Probably not. I think I'll be okay, um, because I'm going to just wear it down today, so, um, yeah, one layer is going to be good enough for me, so. Now that that's done, I'm going to pull this over the front and I'm just going to let that sit for a minute or so. Making sure to keep all the hairs out of the way so that way it doesn't glue down to the lace. Because I'm going to have to cut that off. Alright, so I pulled the hair back with some clippy things here, just so you can see up close and have a better view, and I will be able to cut my lace off without cutting the hair as well. So I'm just going to, alright, some of the hair got stuck there, but not that big of a deal. So I'm just going to take this. And try not to like cut it super like 
directly across. It's okay if it has like some jagged edges. The scissors was not <laughs> that great. Um, hmm. I need to Ha! This is uh, what do you call these? Dermaplaners. They're good for um, cutting off wig things too. So I do need to cut off more. Yeah, I'll try not to cut yourself during this process. I am not responsible. Shoot. that. Ooh. Let's see how I am going to cut this part off. Lord. <laughs> ah! Okay. I'm trying to do this without cutting the hair off. I don't know how well of a job I'm doing, but I'm doing something. <laughs> and then I'm going to take, let's see, up close this looks really terrible. But I can just um, take, I can take a alcohol wipe and um, clean this up and then like obviously like once I put makeup and stuff on, it'll be a lot better. Um, um, let me see, yeah. So I think I'm going to put some lace, like, not some lace, Lord Jesus, I'm going to put some glue, maybe right here, maybe, not sure. But this top part is sticking pretty well, which is good. Let me just alcohol wipe it. So I kind of forgot that I don't really have many styling tools because I got rid of most of them once I became natural. Um, I don't use blow dryers in my hair a lot. Um, so I don't have like a real life like flat iron or curling iron. But I remember I had this. I don't know. I like to keep cute small things. So I have this. So I'm going to use that to kind of like just like straighten out the bumps in my hair and um, maybe give it a little bump at the end I don't know but yeah I was just like what the heck I went in the closet only to realize I don't I don't have anything so let me pull some of this back again Ooh, that straightens really good. So look at this side where you see the little bump. And this side that I just mini flat ironed. 
I'm going to finish doing the all of it. I was going to say the total. I'm going to finish doing all of it and then get back to you with the final look and my final thoughts. All right, guys. So I'm back. As you can see, I am all done. I honestly did not flat iron the whole thing because the flat iron is so small it's like it would take me forever I'd have to go like little by little but since I'm going to my sister's salon and she don't know I'm about to use her her, her flat irons um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go there and flat iron it there if I remember then I will um, of an updated like front to back but if not uh, my final thoughts I love it I think it's super cute it's super easy very easy to put on like I said it came no smell it hasn't like been shedding um, besides the little waviness of it being packed in the box it came pretty straight um, it's easy to style and um, yeah this is something i see myself wearing for the next week or so and then um taking it out washing my hair switching it up and trying something new so yeah i definitely recommend this wig um i would buy another one like once this one's all yucky and damaged and i can't wear it no more i would definitely pay the coins to get this again uh, like I said, it came to about a hundred and something dollars. So I think it was a hundred and one dollars um, Definitely worth it. I love it. It's making me look and feel real cute right now I still don't have no makeup on I'm not for the makeup like lately. So eh, it is what it is. So yeah, this is the final look And I hope you have enjoyed this wig review if you like it please make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell if you want to be notified every time i post a new video with that being said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye take it away take it away feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget